And Seema, the G20 consists of a series of official meetings, but there are also a number of notable bilateral meetings happening uh, in Rome this weekend on the sidelines of the main event, aren't there? Yes, I mean, they're taking advantage of this first face-to-face -face meeting in two years to really have a lot of important bilaterals. And I think some of the interesting ones to watch out for this Sunday, uh, um, the first uh, between the French President Emmanuel Macron and the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. As we know that there is this a row over fishing rights uh, between the two countries. Uh, Mr. Johnson referring to this as turbulence in the relationship between the two. Dozens of French boats have been denied fishing licenses for the UK waters. And then France threatened to block ports to these British vessels that may be coming in that way. So now Macron, for his part, has said that this row is a test of the United Kingdom's credibility. Uh, and he said that there may be targeted measures in order to resolve it. The British officials on their part are saying they're considering legal action against France on this. So could this meeting between the two leaders perhaps diffuse the tension? Uh, we'll have to see. Another uh, important bilateral between the US President Joe Biden and uh, the Turkish president, Erdogan, um, there was this issue that the uh, Turkish president wanted to expel envoys from Turkey, uh, including the US one. But in the end, he withdrew that threat. And uh, Mr. Biden shook his hand at that group photo on Saturday. We'll have to see what comes out of a meeting between the two. Mr. Biden expected to warn the Turkish leader to not involve such precipitous action, particularly over issues of the unwise of the two countries. They're also supposed to discuss issues like Syria and Libya, as well as defence ties between the two countries. Sima Gupta in Rome, thank you very much. And it should be said that uh, French President Emmanuel Macron and uh, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson are expected to give a short address to the press following their meeting this Sunday. We will, of course, be following that very closely for you here on France 24.